Did he sign it off? Because let me say to him, that sounds awfully like corruption from me, and please let me... Cor corrupt point of order, Bob Seeley. This is a very serious allegation. Yes. Corruption has been alleged, and there is no basis for it, and it should be withdrawn. Yeah. Order! This is a serious allegation. I'm not in a position right now to weigh up one side of the argument against the other because I don't have the evidence before me of whatever words were published and whatever words have been said. So I would ask the Honourable Lady... No, no, she can't possibly, can't possibly be looking at her phone while I'm speaking to her. She can't possibly be. No, she can't possibly be looking at her phone while I'm speaking to her. I would ask the Honourable Lady to get us over this part of the debate and we can come back to this matter at another time. Would the Honourable Lady please withdraw the... Withdraw the don't shout at me when I'm speaking from the chair! Will the Honourable Lady please withdraw the allegation of corruption, which is a very serious one? and perhaps find some other words to say that she disagrees with what the Honourable Gentleman for the Isle of Wight has said, and then we can proceed with the debate and, and if necessary, come back to this point at another point. Lisa and Andy. Madam Deputy Speaker, out of deference to you, of course, I will, um, I will rephrase my words in a manner that is far more acceptable to you. This looks awfully dodgy to me, Secretary of State. Was this signed off by you or by your department? I was happy. I would certainly never, never disrespect the chair by reading from my phone, so I won't do it now. But the words are there on the Honourable Gentleman's website, and if anybody cares to look at them, they can draw their own conclusions. So I do take exception, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, with what the Honourable, uh, the Honourable Lady has just said. How dare she suggest that members on this side yeah, of the House yeah. aren't standing up there for, yeah, for their community yeah, yeah. when we are quite obviously aggrieved with the uh, allegation that she has just made uh, against a fellow colleague. Um, so yes, we have got a right to chunter at her comments. Yeah. She's absolutely got a right to challenge me on my comments, and so have her constituents. They might want to know why Kent has had £276.8 million taken from its budget by this government over the last decade. No, I won't give way. Because order, it... order, 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 Mr Gullis. Stop it. 